Good morning, friends. I'm out on my back porch, and today we're going to check in on little Wally here. The uh, This is a three-gallon Rubbermaid tote that I started uh, last year, and I harvested, uh, I think, seven or eight pounds uh, a couple months back and started it up again. And the last time I was in here, uh, actually it was 20 days ago, I think, was um, roughly, I actually put in a, um, a, a cardboard column that I had, uh, was almost like made a tunnel out of it, and I had holes cut in the bottom. And then seven days ago I went in there and I found that all the worms had really started to congregate in there. But I want to get everybody checked on uh, before 2023 because I have a little project I want to start and uh, get everybody involved in the whole thing. So. Uh, the last time I was in here, I noticed they were they were crawling in the lid, and I, I don't know if that's too much moisture or if the leaves perhaps are um, have a different acidity uh, than the cardboard does, and maybe they're uh, adjusting to it or rebelling, one of the two. So let's just see. I haven't looked, so you and I will look together, and we'll see if, again, we have... Uh, some worms here on the top. Let's see what we got here. I see a little guy up here. And I mean, you can see they've been, just the ca castings here, that you can see they've been in the lid. And uh, I see one here. I think there were about 20 the last time. So there's one. No, no, none. I'm looking for wisp as well. There's the second guy. They're nice and dark and rich, aren't they? They're really very, very handsome uh, wigglers. Look at those little red tails. Oh, here's another. Beautiful, beautiful little worms. And you can't tell me they're not up there. That's Kind of like when you tell your mom and dad, oh, no, 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 we were in bed at, at such and such time, and they find out you weren't. So, uh, anyway, I'll probably clean all this out. And But uh, isn't this interesting? It's almost like they're making... Look at this. Doesn't that look like a leaf? Like they... Like they're... You can see it's something that they've just dragged across. Interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, we'll, we'll work on that later. So here we have it. All I'm feeding them today is just some um, a banana peel and strawberry tops and even some sweet potato skins that uh, we had sweet potato on uh, Christmas Day, so I skinned it. And, and chopped it and then baked it like that. Uh, a little bit of coffee grounds and some uh, eggshell. Uh, I I don't I don't think I need anything more if I if I have to add it in. I wasn't really going to be a do a big uh, search around in here. Uh, I am going to put gloves on today because I don't want to be a total mess digging through here. But you can see they've really. I mean, they're they're really moving about with uh, you know all their telltale castings on both sides. Um, I don't know if I can swing you up here and let you see that. Yeah, you can see it, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see it's all along here. Um, let me see what I can see. Just I think I had. A little bit of cardboard over here and the worms are in and crawling about and I had put in some extra leaf mulch geez I love that that leaf mulch I don't know what I'm gonna do whenever the tree loses all of its leaves and I have to wait for it to start all over again a little dry but I'm hoping that if I can let it dry out, I can use my new sifter set. I'm like a kid with a train that, you know, that I'm not allowed to use it until the 
until the rain stops. Oh, goodness gracious. I really want to try sifting and I, I know that it's going to get all stuck in there. So, okay, so we, we did this part. We'll do a little bit of a fluff around. But this is the part that I'm really interested in. It's really, really tight in there. There we go. That seems to be a little bit of a move. Let's see what we see underneath. Ooh, I see worms. I see London, I see France. I see Wormy's underpants. Look at that. Those guys are, they're rocking and rolling, aren't they? All right, I'm not going to break them up. Because I want to carry on with this. Oh my, yeah, I'm, I'm running into a lot there. Okay. And this was just, uh, leaves that I added. What was that that I added? Oh, right. Another, another sweet potato that I stuffed in there. Cool. Okay, so they are eating the sweet potato. I cooked these, by the way. Uh, I know that if I had not cooked them, that they would have taken, that would have really been slow food. And, uh, and I wanted to give them enough uh, fast food to keep them going. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add all of this banana and goodies in there. And I'm going to add a little bit of ground eggshell. It's, uh, it's a grit for their uh, gizzard. Uh, their gizzard sits on top of their stomach uh, as you're going down the intestinal tube there. Uh, they don't have teeth, so uh, they need a little bit of aid. Uh, it's uh, disputed as to whether they actually need it or not. Uh, some people are doing uh, experiments where they're not using it uh, grit at all. Anne over at Plant Obsessed has a few um, experiments going on if you want to check her out she she does a fine job uh, Mrs. White Davy from White Davy Worms uh, she also does uh, experiments on her worms and she's also very learned uh, and so if you there's so many people out here who are uh, really uh, kicking it up a notch you know that's all I can say is you're really kicking it up a notch and uh, keeping it interesting and so that's all I'm going to do there that's going to be it and I'm not seeing a whole lot of cocoons at least I don't think I do but then again if I had a sifter oh wait I do have a sifter but it's not dry enough to sift quite yet so I'm going to wait a little while on this doggone maybe in the new year I'll take you guys for the the uh, uh, what, what do they call it the first the first of many siftings the the virgin tryout whatever that whatever that's called all right that's all I'm going to do with this one and uh, and then come back in hopefully 10 days this has only been seven but I wanted to get these guys taken care of and then I really want to keep everybody on like a 10 day schedule. I was thinking a week, but I'm not gonna be able to do that. I have, I, there's six bins here, you know, five of them. Uh, it's just too much for me. I have gardening and other things that I wanna do. So, uh, oh, let me just add a little bit of, of liquid to that. Just to the part that's really dry. Why? Because we want a dryer so that we can sift it with our new sifter set that Santa brought us. Okay, that's it. Quick deal. Okay.
Uh, I hope everybody has a uh, great new year. And I hope you will uh, subscribe and ring the bell and come back and see me again real soon because I'll be here. Take care, everybody. Bye.